Hi there. Yes, it's Chloe. Chloe from Wanna Share Fit More, here to empower your inner video creator. I'm a bit sick today, so please bear with me. My sound is a bit weird. <coughs> Recall the keyframe feature in Femora Tof? It enabled movements like this. Boring. And now, Femora 13 takes a step further, and I'm going to show you how I'm doing all of this smooth movement in Femora 13. Whew. It's easier than you think. Let's get started. First of all, what is keyframe? It is actually a point in time where you can assign a value to a clip. Or we can say that it is the start and end point of any transitions or movements. Today, in this video, we'll be mainly focusing on position keyframes. If you want to learn anything else other than position keyframes, let us know in the comments. Okay, moving on. Now let's talk about keyframe curves. The newly added curves in Formor 13 is actually something called Valley Graph Curves. It visualizes the changes of certain values over time. For example, when the object moves in the same speed, the graph looks like this. When we apply the Easy Ease curve to the animation, it looks like this instead. So in general, the steeper the curve is, the faster the speed is. Because of that, the animation usually looks smoother when we apply a curve to it. Okay, now let's open from R13 and get started. Oh, if you haven't already downloaded from R13, get started by going to fromr.wanna.share.com or click the link in the description. Our goal is to make this animation as smooth as we can today. So drag the footage on the timeline. Let's go to the video basic tab and find the position. Open the keyframe panel from the bottom right here and we have a new tab appearing in the settings. Then let's go back to the position parameters and add the keyframes first. I want the image to start moving here. So I'll add a keyframe here and move to 10 frames later and add another keyframe. Don't change anything yet. To have the wiggle movement in the end, let's add three more keyframes. Add the third keyframe after five frames and the fourth keyframe after five frames too. Then the last keyframe after four frames. To make it easy, let's call them C, D, E, F, G. Now let's tweak these positions. I want the animation to start off screen. So I'll change the Y axis of C to minus 800. Then go to D and change the Y axis to 190. After that, change the Y axis of E to minus 190, F to 90, and G to zero. A quick note, the top frames here are for the X axis, which we're not going to touch today. So we are going to leave them alone now. Playback it, and yikes, it's not smooth at all. Let's slap on some easy ease curves to have it look like this in the end. Click on the ideal curve and adjust the handles. And now let's play back and compare the linear and the easy ease animation. Which one looks smoother to you? See, it wasn't that hard after all. Drop in the comments what else you want to learn about animation and for more 13. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time.